Good morning. I am curious as to whether or not you have noticed a problem in my garage. That problem is the problem of most people in a tiny shop, and that is, it's tiny. I do not have a lot of space, and one of the banes of my existence for building stuff has been my ability to store material. If I wanna get anything out of this sucker, I have to start digging and digging and digging, and it's, it's virtually impossible. Like, oh, I want this piece. Well, I gotta take all these two by fours out of the way. It is somewhat better in the corner over here, but not by much, because I still can't really get in here with the CNC in the way. Lastly, for anything larger than those two by four foot sheets of plywood that I've already pre-cut to size, my motorcycle has been my lumber rack. I would like to ride the bike and have actually stopped because I can't get to. So this has got to stop. And that is the point of today's video. We are going to build a lumber rack, which like everything else in this garage will be on casters so it can move and be flexible in my super tiny shop. Hope you enjoy. curious about the wardrobe change, I had those pants and short sleeve shirt which were doing great when it was freezing this morning and then the temperature came up and I started noticing I'm getting hot and sticky and sweaty and uncomfortable and oh, I'm wearing pants. So ditch the pants, ditch the shirt and we are back to build time. Good morning. It is now day two of what was supposed to be my one day storage. English. Good morning. It is now day two of what was intended to be my one day build for wood storage. Now I got to this point yesterday where I have the four by eight sheet section. I have my three rows for where I can store two by fours, four by fours, and two by sixes, as well as the soon to be vertical storage sets that will, ah ha ha ha, sandification is required. Next step, actually getting these to be supported so that way they're not these uh, loose ends because that's not gonna support diddly when a nice heavy sheet of uh, three quarter inch plywood leans up against it or six sheets leans up against it. Need to reinforce these guys together, but unfortunately these guys are only held in by a single pocket screw at the bottom. So that is not sufficient enough to hold them in terms of lateral loads as well. So my solution there is intended to be that I will uh, add some triangular struts on that end that should make this whole thing nice and stiff and rigid. This is great. It actually does store the lumber as intended. It's not the easiest to get some of these upper ones in and out, but that was the whole point. They're just supposed to store a piece. I don't need to get in and get out a million times over. I just need to be able to get it in somewhere and then move the entirety of the cart around. And the beautiful part about this is I have access to two by fours that I don't have to grab from underneath four by fours that I don't have to grab from underneath a two by six. So, so far, 
this is working out. I now officially have these guys mounted to there and it's already starting to stiffen up a little bit, but I had original thought for this upper section here for miscellaneous cutoffs less than eight foot as well as some scrap plywood that's not quite the two foot by four foot requirement for the shelving that I'm doing over here to the side, so, or the lean-to shelving. So, originally I had this open, but I wasn't 100% sure how I wanted to finish it. Now I've officially had the idea, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a, uh, I think this is 23 and a half. So just shy of two foot section here that'll lean to the back. And then I actually still have a six inch strip down here at the base that I'm playing with the idea of using that as this front section and then maybe just running a two by four piece here, or I might just go ahead and do 24th front, 24th back. The only reason I don't necessarily wanna do 24th front, 24th back is because what can happen is with sheets like this, it, it, you run out of Z clearance where you're trying to get shit in and out. So you're actually stuck with the two foot running into the ceiling. So I'm, I wanna to try to make this somewhat halved. I just haven't determined quite how halved I need it to be. So for starters, we're gonna pull out a 24 inch section, screw that in, go from there. So we've got this guy with the backboard in. I now need to get an idea of exactly what I want to do for the sides. The end caps shouldn't be that bad. I think I have this spare piece, so I might be able to make that work. And then I got to come up with how far up the front I need. So I'm actually going to do some prototyping real quick with a uh, some clamps, basic two by four in the setup uh, at a different height, and then see at what height am I kind of running out of room to stick shit in my vertical storage. Got the wall added to it for the offcut sections. I'm now gonna work on the side section where the two by four pieces are gonna go. We're gonna add in the two out outward posts, this uh, triangular strut, which will also help stiffen up this guy, and then one top member, which should keep the whole situation from getting all wee wobble on us. out the 2x4 storage, time to load this fucker up with all the stuff hiding behind the CNC machine, and then after that is done, we'll see what we need to do next. There you have it. I have a completed lumber rack. And by completed, I mean completed enough for now. I've got the edge pieces on. I can store full four by eight sheets. I can store two by four sheets. 
I have a miscellaneous pile complete with a small scraps bucket. And I think the game plan is I'm actually going to leave this open section open for now and then do an official build instead of a half-ass kind of haphazardly what needs to go where build. Because I think this section can actually be modified so that way this is not only my lumber rack but also my drill press and bandsaw cart because at the present moment the pair of those tools are sitting on the floor and that sucks. Uh, so I need to use as much floor square footage as possible and be as efficient as possible in this tiny little space. I think that's going to be the next move. I'm also going to look into seeing about adding some bins, treating the very lowest level as my hardwood lumber rack. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take some of my maple sections, bring those down, load those up, and then the final section eventually will be a part two for this lumber rack and I will add the drill press and the bandsaw. But for now, that is everything. I have officially created an absolute bomb in this place and I really got to clean it at this point with the little bit of light that I have left and a little bit of time before dinner. That is the game plan. So I'm going to get to cleaning. I hope you had a good time. I'll see you in the next one.